Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I kind of want to go ahead and show you guys a little bit of how I sort uh, my stashes kind of when I'm mapping. Um, once you start mapping, I guess to like higher efficiency and whatnot, it becomes kind of annoying trying to sort through all of your items because, you know, say you run, I don't know, 20 maps an hour, right? And you have a bunch of items collected up from them. It would be silly to spend so much time in between each map rolling them or, or checking your items. It just kind of becomes sort of like sort of an hassle. So I'm going to show you guys my way of personally collecting loot and then sorting it after to just kind of be more efficient. Uh, and I've broken this down into a couple of sections. So first off, this is kind of all the loot I've acquired uh, from running my maps. Now, I don't personally pick up like chess pieces or helmets or anything and if I do you know it'd be like a top tier base I'd pick it up identify it if it's bad I just drop it so I have to sort it into a couple tabs so let's start with the beginning all right let's start by pulling out all the maps that I've accumulated from here so I'm gonna go ahead and pull out all my yellow maps first and through the power of editing you just saw me do all of that instantly isn't that cool and I'm going to go to one of my random tabs that I have here and just throw them pretty much all in. Okay, next up would be my red maps. Um, so let's pull out all my strands here. So I'm just going to sort that by strand because I have these in specific spots. And this would be my courtyards and my promenades. Unique maps can go here. So this would go in tab number two. Where's tab two? Did I lose my tab two? Oh, it's up here, just kidding. All right, so in go my courtyards and my promenades and my strands go to the cell, which goes over here. Okay, next up, this random map can just go in where is it? I have a random map tab. Buy out zero alts. In it goes. Okay, next up is going to be gems. So I'm just going to pull out gems. And these are just quality gems. Um, I don't know why these aren't quality. Maybe I'm just kidding. There we go. These are just quality gems that I use for my recipe. You totally don't have to do this again. Everyone's going to have their own method into what they like to pick up. And I just throw these into a tab to sort for later. Next up is gonna be jewels. And I personally leave everything unidentified so that I can just identify it all at the same time. Um, this is something as well that you technically don't have to do, but I guess this method is more suited for unidentifying or well, unidentified items. And then they go into a jewel tab. All right, next up would be my, I guess, uh, life sprig will sell later. And these on the right are just uniques that I found that are supposed to be worth much, but I guess Death's Hand isn't worth anything right now. So I'm going to pull out belts next. Now, when you're sorting your belts, it's important to note that rustics do not pop up when you just sort belts. So instead of typing uh, belt for rustics, you want to actually type out rustic and it'll pop up. And I use these for regal recipe and I also just group identify at the same time so that I can sell them back to get the recipe uh, for five for one. There's a unique ship belt that snuck its way in here. Okay, let's go rustic. And then everything that I have left inside this tab is actually just accessories, which would consist of rings and amulets. So pretty much everything in here can be pulled out. And these are gonna go in the same tab as the belts which then essentially gives me a free map tab back. By mapping tab, I just mean this one because it's basically my mapping tab. 
Now, I would personally highly recommend getting a quad tap for this because it just makes it a lot easier to sort through all of the items. done. Oh man, all the clicking, dude. Alright, and that's pretty much all sorted. Um, again, other items that I find in here that are actually worth something, that are uniques, just sit on the right. I actually roll my um, I roll my maps inside this tab as well, so I have all my currency kind of always sitting inside here. So I just fill it up to like, essentially three quarters of it fills up, maybe a little less than three quarters, and then I personally sort it. Obviously it would be much better to just fill up the entire tab. This is just an example of kind of what you can do, and it does make it a lot easier to map because, you know, this video took, I don't know, a couple minutes, opposed to just throwing random shit in the tabs and you just get lost and consumed uh, by all the stuff. So I'll show you guys kind of the way I have it set up if you want to see. So tab number one would be my currency. Tab two is my mapping drop slash frequently used items. Um, then I've got a mapping tab, uh, essence tab. This is my tab just essentially for mapping as well, which is all of my sacrifice pieces. Uh, all my divination cards. Uh, these are going to be um, all Skyforths. This is my gem tab, which basically you just trade in for GCP. Same thing, these are the jeweler's tab that needs to be supported, or uh, what is it? Not supported, uh, essentially price checked and put on the market. This is a selling tab, buy out one chaos, 1.5. These are other tabs to sell. Four is always my flask tab. Um, five, this is just random maps in here. These are all just accessories that need to be ID'd. Uh, same with here. These are just additional maps that pop up. Uh, these are all bricks jewels that did not, our gems at the Nako 21. Uh, this is actually all my regal tab here. This is a crafting tab. These are more maps that I don't need. A no sell one. Uh, this is my strand tab. Uh, prophecy pieces, crafting pieces, CI gear, leveling, uh, and then new builds. And that's pretty much about it. And then I've got blank tabs. All right, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I was getting a lot of questions on, you know, why I throw all my shit into random tabs, and it's kind of more of like an organized mess than like just a mess. So I hope that helped you guys out. I hope you guys liked it, and if you did, remember you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Hope you guys have a wonderful time, but before we tune this out, let's chant to Skyforth. I'm going to close my eyes. My eyes are closed. I can't see anything. I feel like I missed every... I, I still can't see... I don't know where I'm clicking. I'm off the screen. Okay, I have to go more to the left. Uh, what? Are, I went back in the map? How the fuck did that happen? Okay, let's go back and look at this tab. Okay, feels no Skyforth, man. Let's let's go back and look at him. No, 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 no. Let's see, no. Oh, nope. Okay, let's, let's keep going. Let's see what we got here. Uh, nope, 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 nope. Alright, you ready for this? These three are all going to be Skyforths. Feels no Skyforth, man. Alright, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and don't PK yourself by closing your eyes and running into maps. <laughs>